All right, let's get practicing in QuickBooks Online. Grab the link below in the description so that you can follow along. Here we are in the QBO gym. And the QBO gym is a place where we have numerous exercises that simulate real life scenarios that you may encounter as a bookkeeper. Every single month we come out with new exercises for you to practice and complete and we break it down for you into four different sections. Today we're working in the January strength training section where we really focus on opening balance equity. At the top here is an animated video to tell you what you are going to be doing for Craig that month. He is our fictitious business owner. Further down is an interactive quiz. Below that are all of the exercises within this section. And then once you have completed all of these exercises, there is an optional area here where after, after you have completed them, there are some sample posts that you can use on LinkedIn to share with everybody what you have learned so far. So we are going to dive right in with our first exercise where we're going to practice opening a money market account. Go ahead and click on that link to get the exercise pulled up for you. I have it over here on the right hand side. So let's see what our scenario is today. Craig tells you that he opened a money market account and transferred $100 from his checking account to fund it. He says he already entered all of this in QBO, but when you go to check his work, there is an issue. So let's see what happened. To do this exercise, you will need to be in the sample company. Now, if you're not sure how to get into the sample company or get your own free QBOA account, be sure to click on the link below in the description. I have the sample company pulled up over here. Uh, this is where we're going to be working. This is the dashboard. So let's see how to get started. So the problem we said was the first thing that you do is check the chart of accounts. Here you notice that there is a total of $200. Craig told you it was 100, so let's take a closer look. When you do, you will see that there are two entries. You see the transfer from the checking account, but you also see a $100 work deposit recorded as opening balance equity, or OBE for short. So what was Craig's mistake that caused this to happen? The first thing we need to do is recreate the problem. So what we need to do um, is do exactly what Craig had done and when he added the account to QuickBooks. So to get started from the left navigation bar, we're going to hover over transactions and then select chart of accounts. That is over here, transactions, hover over that and then select chart of accounts from that drop down. We're creating a new one, so go ahead and click on new. Now this is a money market account, so it is a bank account. Go ahead and click on banks to identify the type of account we're going to use. We're going to save the account under bank accounts, so go ahead and click on this down arrow. We're going to click on bank accounts so that it is a sub account of bank accounts. In the tax form section, go ahead and select money market. That down arrow, there is money market, click on that. In the account name field, we're going to type money market. So go ahead and click into that and type money market. There you go. Click on the starting date and opening balance. You will want to expand that. So go ahead and click on that down arrow there to expand it. In the date field, we're going to select today, indicating it's starting today. And then the account balance at the end of the day field, we're going to enter $100. So click into that box and type 100. And you will see that it has been adjusted down here as well. Now this was Craig's mistake. In his mind, the beginning balance of the account was $100. So it made sense for him to add this information here. Actually, the, however, the beginning balance was zero. The beginning balance when he started it was zero. And then the balance became $100 after he had made the transfer from the checking account. So that is where his mistake was when he completed uh, this new account form. Let's go ahead and save it. Now that we have recreated the problem, um, the next thing Craig did was transfer the money. So we'll need to do that to complete uh, recreating that problem. So click on the plus new button and then we're gonna click on transfer. The plus new button is over here on the left hand side. Go ahead and click on that. And then in the other column is transfer. Go ahead and click on that. 
Now in the transfers fund, transfer funds from field, we're going to select checking because that's where he was moving the money from. So click that down arrow and then select checking. And then the transfer funds to field, we're going to select money market. That is this one right here because that is where he put the money from the checking to the money market. And then the amount was for $100, which is what we're going to put in that transfer amount field. Go ahead and type that. And when you uh, tab over, you will see that it has been recorded. Over here, just as a note, this is showing the balance in the checking account, and this is showing the balance in the money market account. So you can see right from here that this is incorrect because it should be zero since he just opened up that money market account. So this $100 that he's transferring, this should say zero, and then once he does this 100, then the balance will change to, um, to 100. But right now, let's go ahead and save and close this. Click the down arrow right here and then select save and close. Now let's check the register to confirm that we have recreated the problem. Let's click on view register on the money market line, which is right here. Go ahead and click on that. If you get any pop-ups, just go ahead and click out of that. It is just QBO trying to be extra helpful for us. <laughs> So here you can see that our register matches the original issue. You can see that it's showing as $200, not $100. Here is that transfer we just recorded. And then that opening balance equity when we created in the, um, the new account, this money market account, he had put $100 as that OBE. So that is why that is showing there as well. Now, as shown above, uh, shown above when uh, opening a new account, anything you add to the account starting balance will be automatically categorized to opening balance equity by QuickBooks. This transaction will need to be deleted. So the correct way to create a new account is to leave that opening balance as zero and then use transactions such as Craig's transfer to adjust the balance. So what we wanna do is click anywhere on the opening balance equity line. So just do that so that it becomes editable. And then we want to click on delete. So go ahead and do that. You will get this little pop-up that shows up and that's because this transaction was added automatically so it shows as reconciled. And you will get this warning that you're trying to delete it. The transaction was created in error though, so we know that with confidence we can confirm the deletion. Go ahead and click on yes. And now you only see the one transaction, that transfer. So let's go back to the chart of accounts. We're gonna click on that right here. And you will see now that that balance has been adjusted, as I mentioned on the previous screen, to $100. And this is where we're gonna pause right here because we're gonna continue this on for the next exercise. But that is how you would open up a new account, specifically a money market account. And if you have any questions or want to know more about the QBO gym, just go ahead and click on the link below in the description. Be sure to leave this session of the sample company open as you will need it for the next exercise in the strength training section where we again focus on that opening balance equity. And I will see you in the next video.